Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here today, and so this monster analysis video, I'm going to be going over Jellymer, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth getting, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Jellymer is the brand new multiplayer monster, and he is a, a tank, and his traits are possession immunity, curse immunity, and taunt, which are pretty good, and then his relics are armor and amulet, which are also pretty great. The only problem with his traits is that the first two are bad, but the last one is decent, so yeah, I'm not really sure what to say about that. You will have to get him to rank 3, 4, to reach his full potential. And then if we go to his pros and cons, he has access to healing skills, 20% of maximum life increase and regeneration, so he can stay alive very easily. He has access to Bane and random negative effects. His nature and magic elements also neutralize each other's weaknesses, so he is only weak to fire. And he has a really high life stat, is actually the highest out of any Alpine era monster, which is amazing. And then his cons are nature and a fire meta. He is a horrible trait except the status caster. And then he only has taunt as a status caster and it cannot be reapplied after being removed which is very annoying and he can be countered by reverse healing and he only has healing skills for self sustain and then we have his uh, move set down here so we have a self 20% maximum life increase with a heal 20% and a team heal 20% that is quite a bit of healing and then he also has a self 50% heal with a life regen and then you can pick between an aoe bane with a random negative and a single target bane with a random negative i'm not sure why you wouldn't go for the aoe though and you can also pick between a team heal for 30 percent or a ally 20 percent heal with zero stamina zero cooldown which that's really good as well so yeah it's quite a few heals that is pretty much his gimmick he just heals over and over again which is pretty cool but he doesn't have taunt or anything after it gets removed or after it like wears off so after that he's not a very good monster but while he has taunt active, he is pretty decent. But yeah, I don't think he's really worth it because that will wear off and it will get removed. So yeah, just not very good after that. But he is a PvP monster, so he is super easy to get, so you should still get him. But just don't use him on your team if you have any other tank, really. So yeah, that's going to be for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Jellymer, though. You guys might think differently, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.